save him. Deliver him. He brings so much shame to your name. Father, redeem him. My mother always tells me that my father is an irresponsible man. And that I look like my father. My father impregnated my mother twice. Do you know what that means? Two kids for my responsible father. My mother tells me that I behave like my father. Somehow, irresponsibility runs in the family. Child, I'm going to ruin your life just the way my irresponsible father ruined the life of my mother. He is stubborn. He is as irresponsible as his father. He brings shame to me. Lord, save him. Deliver him. He is the black sheep of the family. He is full of drunkenness and unrighteousness. What's the meaning of all this? See, I am seeing the possibility of what transpired between my father and my mother happening between you and I, Cynthia. Cynthia? Who the hell is Cynthia? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Charity. Who the hell is Cynthia? I'm sorry. What's your bones at you, Cynthia? I'm sorry. Charity. I'm sorry. What's your bones at you, Cynthia? So right. you still go around flirting with girls? I am sorry. I am sorry. It was an error. Look, 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 James. This relationship is over. It's over. I'm sorry. And I mean it. It's over. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I regret the sex. I'm sorry now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was but, right. sha, sha, sha. I am good for nothing, guy. I am sorry, Charity. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm James Bond 07. Mission accomplished without any stress. I just have to restore my government. Bring in some girls, take some girls out. I just did that. Just killed one. I have achieved this for today. <laughs> Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bad boy. Lord, touch his heart. Turn his heart towards you. He is the source of my sorrow. He is the source of the tears in my eyes. He has stolen so much from me. I have lost count. He will not even come to church. He has brought so much shame. James hates anything righteous. Is a symbol of ungodliness. Hmm. He is immorality personified. Lord, save him. That is the point. I am no more James Bond. I am now James Jesus. You see, I, I met a Christian brother some few minutes ago. He spoke to me about Jesus Christ. I saw the sinfulness of my life and I came to realize that I am a terrible sinner. I was touched. I could not resist the power of his word. I have repented and I have given my life to Jesus. You see, Stella, I am now a born again Christian. I have repented. James, my love, does that mean an end has come to our relationship? You see, Stella, keeping this relationship is a proof. I mean, staying dead in a sexual sin. 
is a proof that we have signed an agreement to spend our eternity in hellfire. We can keep this relationship. So you are breaking up with me? Stella, I have no choice. I have no choice. I can't keep this relationship. You see, I am now a new creature in Christ. And as a matter of fact, if I want to make eternity in paradise, I, I need to run away from sin. I, I can't keep this ungodly relationship. Oh, Stella, I can't. James, bye. I'm sorry. Uh, Stella, Jesus loves you. I am James Bond 007. I am still showing my government. Mission accomplished again. Ah, uh, hello, sweetie. How are you doing? Fine. I'm James. One oh oh seven. Oh. I know you. The player. You know me. The player. What game are you talking about? Scrabble? Uh, Monopoly? Or soccer? Or anyone? Still in the gap yourself. Miss Lady, you are too pretty. Please. Just leave before I lose my faith in God. I just gave my life to Christ, eh? Please. Uh, I don't want to lose my salvation, please. They are too pretty to be ignored. Thank you. Ah! Come on, girl! Hey, James. I know you love me. James! I have always said that you need to learn to put Bond in my name, James Bond. It won't cost you anything, Mom. Just forget about the old self. I'm all right, James Bond. Hmm? Yes. My self and your sister have been up since morning cleaning the house and doing things around. You will not be a part of it. You will not lift a finger. Mother, please. Fortunately, nothing is wrong with your son. Your son is perfectly all right. I have no single problem. James, do you want to hear from me? You, you, James, you are the problem. James, listen to me. You are the only problem in this house. Why have you just decided to be so irresponsible? As irresponsible as your father. You just had no need to see. You just an idiotic son. I regret giving birth to you. James, you will give me this. My name is James. My name is James. James Mother, is my why name. are you doing this to yourself? Why are you doing this to yourself? <coughs> James, <coughs> James, you want to kill me? <coughs> James, you. <sighs> James, you know it's because of you I'm I'm dying like this. <coughs> mother, mother see, I, I should be begging you not to kill yourself. Uh, Mom, let, let, let me tell you something. If you choose to die today, life will continue and nothing is going to change except the father Sophia and I will end up becoming uh, uh, motherless. Uh, and our irresponsible father will end up becoming a widower and die as if he's still alive. But James, uh, why did you talk like that? Was that what you were supposed to say? Oh, so you mean I should have asked her whether she has written her will, right? Oh. Or I should remind her to write her will before she dies? Oh. Oh. St stupid girl. Oh. James, why are you like this? Why? Oh. So, why am I like this? Why am I like your irresponsible father? Is that what you're trying to say? Why am I like your irresponsible father? See, uh, mommy, please, what do you want to eat? Oh. Oh. Mommy, what do you want to eat? James. Oh, oh. Mommy, what do you want to eat? I'm asking you now. Very soon, you guys will say James is not caring. Oh. What do you want to eat?
I'm sorry, mother. Excuse me, Sophia. I, I, I'm sorry. I know that um, talking while eating violates the manner, but I have a very important question to ask, mother. Am I permitted? Yes. I'm sorry, mom. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 mother, I, I want to ask whether you still pray for me to be saved. Suppose I will not cease to pray for you. I pray for you every morning, afternoon, night. Well, why hasn't the good Lord been able to answer your prayers about me being saved? I may not have answer for that, but I do know that one day God is going to hear my tearful prayers over your life. Well, I, I know why he's not going to answer your prayer as regards my being saved. I know why he's not going to answer. I know why he's not going to save me. I know. Why? Yeah. Well, I will tell your mother one of these days. But I surely do know why he's not going to save me. I know. Well, so, say it. Baby, cool down. I will tell your mother one of these days. Well, if you are in a hurry to know. Go good the answer. <laughs> Guys, I wish you could feed this all up with babes overnight. To be cool. What do you think? Solomon. You are as promiscuous as your namesake in the Bible. I think your parents made the right choice of your name. Your father. Your father. <laughs> you see, guys, every day I kneel before God, begging him not to answer my mother's prayers about me being saved. What? Yes. Well, because hellfire is going to be full of fun. There will be so much fun in hell. That's the point. How? Oh. Okay, Tyrell, think about it. If all non genuine Christians go to hell, okay, it means that hellfire is going to have a lot of people like politicians, uh, entertainers, comedians, business people. Why heaven will be full of conservative people singing non-inspiring songs to God? Excuse me, heaven is going to be boring, hell will be full of fun. I prefer when there's fun compared to a conservative non-inspiring song. James Bond, you mean heaven will be boring while hellfire will be full of fun? That is my exact one, Tyro. That's my exact one. James Bond. I was. Actually, gave me a lot to think about. How? Uh, uh, where, where are you going now, guys? What? Where are you now? If you die, you sing as a sinner. It's a great loss. No retention, no pay for your lost soul. Believe in about the father, confess your sin today, change your ways. Oh, this is Hello, on a walk How are you? Fine. Is your brother back? Yes. Seems well. What? Outside in the... What's that do for your face? What Something else you want to see. It's not the nun. What? In this house? Jesus died for your sin. He wants to save the Lord. How dare him! James, you would not do that! You're the son of Oh, you are just so good for something! Hey, hey, idiot! How dare you in my house? 
Mom again? That's my mom that I ah. You dog! You, you fool! fool. <laughs> you are irresponsible like, like your father! father. You are nothing but a moral dog like your father! Your irresponsible father is no longer to be found! found. Does he think he scares me? He disgusts me. I'm not playing this dumb game with you, uncle. 30 minutes more, I'm gone. What am I gonna say? 10 minutes, I'm out of this place. Um, James, what you, you like to take? What would you like to eat or drink? Well, uh, um, for food, I'm alright. But for wine, maybe scarecrow wine, the dandy, or shimans, aromatic shimans. Look at, look at, James. You see, we don't have all those things you have just mentioned there. We don't. Well, uh, <laughs> Uncle, thank you. I I'm alright. I'm cool. I I'm cool. James is always in the news when he seldom comes to church. And that is always bad news. The last time James was in church, my brother, he attempted to rape someone right in your house. Ah, but such things can run the men. What has your mom done to deserve all that you subject her to? What has she done? Uncle, may I say something to you? Come on, James. Tell me something. I I didn't understand what you just said. Yes, I didn't get what you just said now. Because my mother is the best woman on earth. 
Really? Yes. Yes, uncle. Just that. Every day of my life, I kneel down to pray to God not to answer my mother's prayers about me being saved. I literally pray against my mother's prayers. James, do you mean you do that? Uncle, I pray against my mother's prayers for me to be saved. James, but why? Uncle, you see, there's going to be so much fun in Hellfire. Yes. And as a, as a fun lover, I don't want to miss any of these phones at all. I want to be there alive in hell to express the, the, the fun there. That's why I pray against my mother's prayers for me to be saved. Uh, well, um, James, that's, that's pretty good. It's really good. Um, can I show you something inside? All right. Okay, come on, let's go inside. Confess your sin today. Yes, I know you to be such a courageous young man. Can you stick a finger of yours into this fire? But what? So that we can see how much fun and pleasure you can derive from it. Well, there are going to be a lot of us in hell. So it's not me alone. So the pain is going to be shared by everybody. But the pain will be felt individually. Well, nobody has gone there to confirm that hell exists. So, why am I involving myself about that? Yes, sure. Don't get there before you confirm that hell or hellfire exists. Well, Uncle, this is not going to stop me from praying against the prayer of my mother. It's not going to stop me at all. I will keep on praying against the prayer of my mother. And you know what? That is not going to stop God from hearing your mother's prayers over you. It's not, uh, uh, I'm done. It's not, I'm done. It's all right, it's all right. Uh, but, but James, it's the money. Just a finger. Who just put a finger of yours in there to confirm the pleasure and the fun of air? <laughs> Such is life. God grant us understanding, I think. Mm -hmm. um, by the way, how is James doing now? James. Hey, James has remained his 
say to stomp on self. In fact, he's, he's, he's getting worse day by day. Uh -uh. Uh, he behaves so irresponsibly. Uh -huh. He's so immoral and ungodly. In fact, he has just taken after his father in, in, in such a responsible way. James gives me heart aches and headaches every day. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I, I think I now understand what your dream meant. How often do you pray for him? Ah, I pray for James. Mm. Every day. Morning, afternoon, night. And sometimes, twice in a week, I add fasting to it. I pray all. <laughs> Auntie, do you know what you're doing? You get him clean with your prayers. So I will understand it. And you get him dirty with your negative pronouncements about his life. I hope you don't call him all these names even when you pray for him. He is as irresponsible as his father. He brings shame to me. But that's who James is. I mean, how else would somebody describe James? Even in prayer. Antimon, if you pray that way, I can assure you that a young man can only go deeper in sin. <laughs> I need not be telling you this as a Christian. That life and death are in the power of the tongue. Your pronouncements over him will have effect on him. Use your mouth to declare good things about him. The good things you want out of his life. Pray it out. Call him good names. Even if he's behaving the opposite. Use your prayer to call the good things you want out of this life. And that is the way to eat. Hmm. If I get to right, I wash James clean with my prayer. Exactly. I then get him dirty with my negative pronouncements. That is it, Auntie Me. Ah, that is it. Me. Ah, that dream. Eh, Father, please forgive me. Have mercy upon me. Please have mercy upon James. Cleanse him and make him whole. James, you are a godly person. James, you are very responsible. James, you are very responsible. Not the bag. I took the money in the bag. Your bag is my room, but I stole the money. Do you get it? You stole my money? You? Oh. No. Um, you did not steal the money. Because I, I did not give back to a thief. I gave back to James Shone, the very godly a responsible young man. Mother, I am as irresponsible as my father. No. Are you focusing that, Mom? No. You are as responsible as a child of God. James, the devil cannot have you because God already has you. You can never have any convenience in life except that in Christ Jesus. Mother, I am as, uh, as stubborn as uh, an eagle and egghead, good for nothing but rebellious young man. Huh? That's what I am. You've got it wrong there. 
You are as gentle as a dove. You are very, very responsible. You are not an egghead because God is your head. You are good for everything in Christ Jesus. James, you are not rebellious. You are obedient, not only to God, but to me. Mother. Yes, James. I am a failure, a pain giver. I give you nothing but heartache and heart attack. Are you forgetting that, Mom? Me, James. Not any longer. You are not a failure. Can't you understand? You are a success. You are not the tail. You are the head. You don't give me pain. You give me pleasure. In fact, anytime God sees you, God is happy about you. Mother. Excuse me, please. What, what, what has happened to your mom? What, 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 what went wrong? Oh, <laughs> nothing. It's just that I did not understand that I have the most responsible, respectable, and God-fearing young man. I did not know until a few days ago. Mom, yes. Mom, stop. Mommy, just stop, stop, stop. This is not difficult. Mom, I don't know what to up to. This is not going to work. Whatever you up to, Mom, it is not just going to work. It won't work, Mom. James! This is going to work! In Jesus' name! Father, I have brought my son, James, back into your house. Even though I, I am also in your house. Father, I have come to declare that James Oriade, my son, is a godly son. In fact, Father, James is a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar person. James brings joy to me and to everyone that comes across him. James is, James is so responsible. James is so respectful. And I declare concerning you, James, that you are the salt of your word and the light of your word. Whoever comes across you, James, has come across goodness. I declare my son, the son of my womb, is a godly seed. And for my husband, the father of James, I declare you are a responsible man. You are a loving husband. You are back to us where you belong. I declare and I decree concerning James. You are the minister of God, a minister of the gospel. That is why you are born. That is your calling and your purpose. James, you are fulfilling your purpose. The enemy has failed over your life. James, you are a new person. A new creature. I am rejoicing in you, my son. My son, James, I am rejoicing in you. And now listen. Listen and hear me well, Satan. Your time over the life of James is over. Satan, listen. James is free from your home. Come again. He is free. And my husband is free from your grief. You have no power over them again. Listen and listen to me. Your tenor in their mind has been. Yes. Because my Bible told me that whosoever. Are you listening, Satan? Whosoever the son shall set free. So, James Oriadi is free. My husband, Adewale, is free. As a family, we are free from your people. 
Instead of letting Jesus take him back to God in the prayer. For answer, I was my difficult. Thank you, Lord. With a provocative behavior. Testimony! Instead of negative words, take him back to God in your prayer. Mom, yes. It is not working. What is that? The prayers for James and Daddy. But why would you say that? It still seems to be going worse. You know, from elementary agriculture, when you plant a seed, you water it, and then you keep watering to create a living environment. It may appear that the seed is dead or is not growing, but it is. You just cannot make the mistake of uprooting or bringing out the seed because then you could destroy it but give it time at the appropriate time that seed will germinate and spring up so my dear it's going to work someone just I think the bad though I had a, a, a sound from the house, if somebody opened it to come, can you please check? Coffee! Yeah. It is warm. Oh. Mom, there. James, I want to discuss this. In this house? James! As usual. James! James! Hello, my son. You're welcome. Good How are you, my daughter? How are you doing? Mother, as you can see, she's very fine. She's fine. Uh oh, my son, I was not talking to you. What's your name, my dear? It's fine. Very beautiful name. Christiana what? Christiana Adebuki. Oh, very nice. Well, uh, mother. She will be passing the night with me. She will be passing the night with me in this house. Um, James, is that a request or you are informing me? I am simply informing your mother that she will be passing the night here. Okay. Um, that information is nullified in Jesus' name. Amen. You are not going to do that. But, but what? Because you are, you are a child of God. You are my son. Mother, I have told you several times, I am not a child of God. I am not a child of God at all. If you are not a child of God, definitely you are not a child of the devil. Um, Christiana, yes, is a friend a child of the devil? No, I, I don't want you to just shake your head. I, I need you to s talk with me. Is James your friend? A child of the devil? No, ma. No. Oh. Thank you, my dear daughter. Um, with your name, you are a Christian. Yes, sir. Okay. So do you think um, it is right for a child of God uh, to allow James to do what he has brought you here for? So you see, it's only the children of the devil that will do what you want to do. And both of you are children of God. So 
say you will not do that. Mother, please stop. Please don't do this, Mom. Please don't do this. Don't do what? Please, Mommy, don't talk to her about Jesus. Stop preaching, Mom. Stop. No, I am not doing that. No. But you have just informed me that um, this lovely girl, Christiana, is going to be staying in our house overnight. And I only think it's right to share with her what will be of benefit to her life. Um, Christiana, are you sure you really want to do that? My daughter, I love you. Your father loves you. But Jesus loves you the most. Anytime you are the verge of committing sin, always remember the nail that pierced his hands and feet for your sin. Always remember that Jesus died for your sin to secure forgiveness for you before God. Christiana, my daughter, you are a child of God. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. You are a child of God. You are a child of God. <laughs> so, you are a child of God, Christian. And so is Jim. <laughs> Christiana, please, it's all right. It's all right, it's all right. Please stop, stop looking. You've done your worst, right? You wanted to send her out, and you're so silly to send her out. It's all right, just keep at it, man. Keep at it. Just keep at it, right? You sent her away. That was what you wanted, right? It's alright. You have succeeded in sending the girl out. It's alright. It's alright. My name is James. I'm the toast of my world. James, James is my name. I love her. The player Ryan. James, James is my name. I was created to enjoy my life. James, James is my name. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Esther. Sir, I'll be kissed by the principal. I am the principal. I can't take. I already have five of members. And I don't think I have said any one more. Sir, please. Your school is my last school. Sir, I've been rejected in three other places. I just need to be accepted. Please, sir. I beg you. Please, sir. The only subject we have problem with is CRS. Total individual studies. Except if you can teach that. I will accept you. If not, I will have to reject you. Sir, I can teach it. I can teach CRS very well. As a matter of fact, sir, I cannot count the numbers of times. I've read through the Bible. I've read through the Bible well, so I, I can teach it. I can not problem with that. The school has to see that one. Okay, sir. I can only be following. You will be taking SS1 to film. Follow me. Let us conclude your acceptance process. Can you take your first class to uh, No, no. No, sir. No. Sir, tomorrow will be good, sir. I will I will tomorrow is Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. My name is James. I'm the toast of my world. James, James is my name. I love her. The player I am. James, James is my name. I was created to enjoy my life. James, James is my name. I'm to live the best I can live.
This is all. Very good. God gave Moses the master plan on how to follow the words of Jericho. Sorry. It was Joshua. It was Joshua. So God gave Joshua the master plan on how to follow the wall of Jericho. On how to follow what? The wall of Jericho. On how to follow what? The wall of Jericho. So, the first day, the Israelites were going. They were going around the wall. They walk around the wall. They were marching. Going, going, going. Until they were tired. When they were tired, they went back to their tents, their huts, their tents, to rest. The second day, they woke up again. They went around the wall of Jericho. They were going, going, going. Until they were tired, they went back again. Until the, the fourth time, the fifth time, until the seventh time. The seventh time, all of them went around the wall of Jericho seven times. How many times? Seven times. How many times? Seven times. As they went around the wall of Jericho, they shouted, and the wall of Jericho collapsed. What happened to the wall of Jericho? Collapsed. What happened to the wall of Jericho? It collapsed. I can't hear you. Collapsed. So it was Moses that, sorry, it was um, Joshua that God gave the master plan. Put your hands together for, for Joshua for falling the wall of Jericho. Now, put your hands together for the Israelites for also walking around the wall of Jericho and falling the wall. Put your hands together. Put your hands up, up together for the angels that help them to fall the wall. Please put it together. Now, let's write. My name is James. I'm the ghost of my wall. James, James, James. Oh, James. I Sorry, it's not Moses. I was created to enjoy my life. I'm to live the best I can live. Are you sure you're right? My name is Jen. Master. 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 Oh, I hope my hand was Are you still properly? How can yeah. it Today, I will be teaching you the words of Jesus on the cross. What do I call it? The words of Jesus on the cross. I can't hear you. The words of Jesus on the cross. The words of Jesus on the cross. What do I call it? The words of Jesus on the cross. Aha. My name is James. And the toes of my wall. The words of Jesus on the cross. There were four specific words or four specific things Jesus said while he was on the cross. The first one was Eli, Eli, Lama, Sabatani. Eli, Eli, Lama, Sabatani. Which means, My God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? What did I say? My God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? Say again. My God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? So when Jesus was on the cross and he was carrying the sins of the world, according to what we study, God, his own father, forsook him. He was abandoned on the cross because he was carrying sins and God could not look at sins. Are you getting me? Because he was being abandoned by God, he was now calling, My God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? Number two statement he made on the cross was, Father, forgive them, 
for they know not what they do. What did he say? Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. It means that Jesus forgave even the people that crucified him. On the cross, they beat him. Alright? They put, they did a lot of bad things to him. And yet, he was still forgiving them, asking God to forgive them. When you are writing your exams, these are the four things they will ask you to talk about if uh, you want to, if you want to ask a question on the words of Jesus on the cross. So if you answer those questions, you are good. Do you understand? Put your hands together for Jesus for dying for the world. Come on for Jesus for dying for the world. You can you please elaborate? I, I, I was simply saying that I have spent my life without Christ, I, and now I, I I want to spend the rest of my life serving Him. So, are you telling me this relationship is over? Tina, I, I am now a born again Christian. You know, Jesus loves you, Tina. Jesus loves. Hold you. it. Good radiance to bad rubbish.
to convince the principal not to reject me, I had to lie that I've read the Bible several times. Oh. In order to come out from a lie, I had to go start reading the Bible as though my life depended on the Bible. Of course, my life depends on the Bible. But after I got saved, I had to confess to him that as at the point I met him, I had even read two verses of the Bible. Mm. But it was too late for him to reject me because I had mastered the Bible and also the act of teaching CRUS. The student, I mean, the subject became something I could I could just just discharge to the students. Mm. So they couldn't send me off. I was one of the best teachers, one of the best copper teachers of, 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 in the school. Mm. So. You got saved teaching the CRS. <laughs> My sister, that was the exact thing that happened to me. <laughs> hey, it was in the process of teaching the course. I just, I just, I just got myself deep into it and then my life changed. Oh, this is a divine arrangement. Because it's not everyone who have read through the Bible or that teaches CRS that becomes born again. That, that's true, brother. That's true. I, I believe that God deliberately planned those rejections that I had as a way of bringing me to a principal who had no need of me at all except for the fact that he had a problem with the subject CRS. So I had to take the subject because myself, even though I was not interested in CRS, but my being accepted actually hangs on that. That's, okay. That's why I believe that my husband will also come back home. I know that your father is a good man, is a responsible man, is a loving father, is a loving husband. Thank you so much, Bob, for your prayers. I appreciate your patience with me. Thank you so much. And I must apologize to this family that have caused a lot, a lot to this family. Oh, that is in the past now. I'm sorry. that again. No, Mom, I, I sent him to help you buy something that was for or damage pictures. So, you have to get it. Alright, I'll do that. I'll be back. Hey. For me? James. James. Good job. Uncle James, my mom said I should give it to your mom. Uh, are, are you not entering? Mm. Okay. All right. You say also to your mother, eh? Yeah? All right. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Oh, so thoughtful of her. I hope you extended my appreciation. Yes, I did, but she didn't want to come in, so she's gone back. <laughs> it's okay. So, um, as we were saying, oh, someone else is at the door. Yeah. So you sent the security man away. <laughs> You you came back because you just remember that your mom your mommy said that you should say thank you to my own mommy. Yes. Alright. Bye bye. I should deliver the message. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Meet your mom, eh? Okay. Is that right, eh? I will deliver your message. Um. James. James, James sitting down here. Okay. Hey. Hey. Mm -hmm. Shall I again? Uh-uh. What is it? She said she came back to tell me that she did not remember to say that her mother said thank you to my mother. <laughs> so she came back to say that I forgot to say to your mother thank you. Oh These children, <laughs> such a pretty little girl. <laughs> All right. uh, so mom, I, I, I want to thank you for the privilege and all that you have, you have um, 
absorbed or taken the person in the So I apologize. Hey, hey, someone is at the gate again. Hey. No, no. <laughs> I'm I'm ready to get you some the guy out. You are your own, so uh, <laughs> I know it's shadow again. No, no. It can't be shadow. Yeah, she's saying. Oh my goodness. Hello. Hello. What is it? Hey. Yes. James. Is that your? Is that it? <laughs> That is bad.